Eta Zaretka. Senin adın ne? Adı. Gezel. 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 Çok güzel adın var. Gezel. Süper. Senin adın ki? Benim adım Davud. Davud. Hı? Benim adım Davud. Dostum var ki? Dostum? Hı? Dostum var. Var. Beş tane. Beş dost. Senin ne için dostum var? Nurcan, Musnaya, Nuran, Aykanen, Alsu. Oo, Alsu. Beş, Üçer. beş. Oo. She has five friends here. Nice. Five. Five. Ah, five. Üçü edin. Bir daha. Beş. Five. Super. Ah, benim saçım böyle. <gülüyor> She's super cute. <gülüyor> Say hi, hello, hello. Ha. <gülüyor> okay, okay. Time to start a real video, guys. I'm staying in this beautiful place, uh, which is basically yurt, and that's how the Kyrgyz people, Kyrgyz nomads, are living in the mountains. Of course, this is a little bit a more touristic version of it, uh, but I wanted to get the feeling of uh, how this place been built and how people are sleeping inside and how how's the whole experience basically. So, as you can see, <clears throat> it's very traditionally. Uh, and very beautifully made everything from everything is like a natural product these are the woods and uh, the um, the sheep wool as well and also we have the beds on the floor so there's one two three and four beds and this is more like a shared room uh, but of course if you I was sleeping alone here because of the pandemic so there wasn't many tourists at all but there are also options that if you want to book a place for, let's say, two people, you can do that as well if you want to have a privacy. Uh, you might be asking what is this thing is hanging here. It's actually real stone uh, from the hanging from the iron, which is holding the ceiling in place. So it helps it not to fly away in a windy, windy weather. There's also additional blankets you can find inside the yurt. And um, if you will ask me about my experience, it was a little bit cold in the morning, like uh, 6, 7 a.m., uh, which I put my hat on. Uh, but otherwise, it was really nice experience. It was quite relaxing and it's super clean as well. Um, basically, you need to take out your shoes when you get in. And when you get in, this is how it looks like. This is my messy stuff, my whole bed there. And this is the outside of the yurts. There is actually more of them. Three more yurts next to each other. And this is the outside view from my yurt. There's also the breakfast area. And my host's family also living in a kind of normal house, not in the yurts directly. What I like about this place is that they have small garden which you can relax and enjoy your time and also they have this um, snowman but made from the stones so we will call it stone man not snowman <laughs> and they have a cat here which the cat koshik da the head is turning around taştan da ah it's super ah cool Kuyruk. <laughs> this is the he, she's telling this is the tail this is the arms of the cat beautiful yeah super <laughs> nah. Nah, at the camera camera <laughs> oh at the camera look Boop -boop. Ah, the camera <laughs> okay I will show you also the toilet area which is quite modern so I think some people might be wondering like where you go to the toilet if it's really nomadic place but the toilet and the shower is actually quite modern which I will show you in a second so they have a little bit far away from the yurts like 30 meters and you get to this two toilets and showers which is all together actually this is the open sky <laughs> shower and the toilet so this is the shower area on the left they have also hot water all the time and here's the modern toilet they have 
beautiful and they have also mirror trash bin quite interesting <laughs> come here she's getting crazy she's liking me douche da douche da ah okay she wants to show it get the ah Josa this is the second part of the it's the same style it's just kind of a circle they split it to half and quite nice it's a toilet ah it's a toilet no it's a water and this is the water it's a su this is the water source they have što je ta konit ne znaju što je ta let's go yeah yeah beautiful and this is the breakfast area which you can have also request lunch dinner and the breakfast including as well i will show you later because there are some people right now so quite beautiful <laughs> it's quite beautiful <laughs> she, she's really excited to that i'm making a video and she's showing all her skills <laughs> These are my hosts. Zdraste, sal hello, yeah. English? No? Proper best problem. Little. Little. How are you? Good? Good. Uh, what's your name? My name is Merim. Merim, Merim. Ochin Krasivim Mesta. Spasiba Basha. So these are my hosts and they actually live in this house, not to, in the in the same garden basically. Yeah, I will show you once more my yurt and I will take you to the lake which is actually not too far away you can see from the far distance there is a Isiku lake it's the second biggest lake uh, in the world after Caspian Sea so let's go check it out the yurt once more this is what this video is about and there's also a nice place to sit at and here we go beautifully designed and also the good thing about this place is that this is how it built is actually helping it to cool down during the summer so even if you have a really really hot um, outside you feel quite cool here ah Tash okay she brought me Tash ah Krasni Tash she said it's a beautiful stone she brought for me oh nice Krasni Tash Spasiba. Spasiba, Rahmat. She's super cute. So what I was saying that uh, during the winter when it's actually very cold, then this place is quite warm because of the because of the all. Okay, <laughs> once more. Spasiba, Rahmat, Rahmat, Rahmat. So that during the winter it's also quite warm here because everything here is made out from the natural things. So it keeps it cool and during the summer it keeps it uh, nice and you don't get too hot if, if the outside is very hot. Great, I think uh, this is the kind of a tour from my yurt, uh, yurt uh, guest house. I will go to the Isiku lake and I want you to come with me guys. So I will connect with you later on. Okay, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. <laughs> Interestingly, this is the first time I see actually in Kyrgyzstan they are separating the trash so they have different colors for different type of trash interesting uh, I just arrived to the beach where the Kyrgyz people or in Russian they call it Plyash where the people can swim in the lake and this place is not too far away uh, you can still see my yurts there where I was staying it's only 10-15 minutes maximum to arrive here and then you arrive to this beautiful place which looks very modern there are changing places and there's a trash bin for bottles and then in few meters it starts pure sand white sand 
this is my first interaction with the Issacool Lake. Wow, beautiful. There is nobody right now here. So Kyrgyz people are treating Isikul Lake as of their own uh, sea because they don't have the real sea as like in Azerbaijan we have a Caspian lake it's the biggest lake in the world but uh, we call it sea because how huge is it it just doesn't have access to the sea uh, it's the same with Isikul Lake and uh, also the similarity between Caspian Sea and Isikul they are one of the biggest and also the salty sea and look at this water that's so clean and pure you can see the stones on the bottom which is very different than Caspian Sea when you go Caspian Sea in Baku or different part of the the country the water is quite dirty I mean it's not so dirty but you cannot you cannot see the bottom of the lake like this beautiful and this is the plage I was talking about super clean super modern seems like there was some investment done recently very beautiful I'm very happy to be here ah I forgot to check the temperature of the of the lake is it right now it's May end of May not sure if it's uh, feasible to swim it's cold but but not too cold so definitely it's possible to swim I, I did swim in the Atlantic Ocean <laughs> in Canarias it's much colder than this so if you warm up a little bit, little bit and then run to the water you should be totally fine very nice seems like there used to be kind of a port to get into the boats not sure I want to check out other side of the plage or the beach it's more stony on the sides and it's whole sand in the middle Tell me, what are your thoughts about this lake and this beautiful place? And the place I was staying, uh, it's only costed me uh, $12 per night per person and sleeping in the yurt, $12, very reasonable price I think for such a cleanness and such a great location if you want to enjoy the lake as well. It's more stony here. I should be careful and so in total I paid $14 around $14 uh, including breakfast so quite quite good price I think uh, especially considering that I was sleeping alone there was nobody there um, yeah I really like the place it's super clean and um, you get kind of the atmosphere what does it mean to sleep in the yurts but I really want to sleep in the real real yurt like in the mountains uh, that's something I am planning and it should be possible around Isikul Lake so that video will come as well later okay I think this is the end of the video from Isikul Lake and uh, the exploration of my uh, touristic yurt where I was staying so really appreciate your support guys thank you so much 
for watching and uh, I will see you in the next video probably from the Isikul uh, around the Isikul lake again so thanks for watching guys and see you and wish you a great day wherever you are